Hey guys, welcome back. It's Droid Films, and today I'm going to do a little bit of a different video. Today, we will be comparing the Elite 2.0 Ace to the Elite Jolt. Which one is better, and which one do I recommend you buy? Before we get into the comparison, I just want to give you a little update on my channel and how I've grown, and a little bit of a schedule change, or schedule adding because I didn't really have a schedule before and starting off with the schedule I'll be trying to upload every other Saturday and that will include the uh, weekly nerf Pavlov VR like confusion video I don't know what to call it and that will become a weekly thing because that video just blew up recently well I uploaded it recently, so yeah. Um, anyways, we reached over 300 subscribers, which is an absolute big milestone. Just want to appreciate all of your support in the U.S. and in other countries, as YouTube Studio told me. I didn't know people in other countries would watch my videos, especially from the Philippines. So yeah, enough of that, and yeah, let's get into the comparison. Before we get into the differences, let's talk about their similarities. For one, they're both the same size, which and they serve as emergency backup pistols during HVZ games. They can fit into like a pocket of some kind, but that also means that too, they both are single shot pistols. You'll have to prime it every time and load it every time what you wanna shoot. And three, they both are primed with the T-priming handles at the bottom. And yeah, that's pretty much all the similarities. Starting out with the Nerf Jolt. This blaster came out back in 2011, but this repaint is more like 2013. And they are kind of hard to come by at n normal stores. You can find them at Walmart sometimes. But normally, the best bet is to find them on Amazon. You can find them for about five bucks or maybe a little less, depending on who you buy from. And starting off with its appearance, we got the barrel up here where you can load in your single Nerf Elite dart or whatever darts you use. There's the, lo the blaster title, the N-Strike logo. Nerf logo. Here we have the trigger. Trigger pull is pretty good. And down to the grip. It's a really small grip, but for me it fits very comfortably. And But that's because I have small hands. But the entire point of an emergency backup pistol is to have it small and that the consequences are having a small grip. And down here we have the priming handle to prime it. You do that. Prime weight is pretty light because it's a backup pistol, so it's going to shoot less than like your primary, like a retaliator or something. And to fire, you just pull the trigger once you um, prime the handle. Chronograph readings are about 60 FPS. I don't have a chronograph, so I had to take that from Coop's channel. He's, I think trustworthy i mean he's a florida man so probably not but i'll take what it, it he said from his jolt review video and 60 fps is oh is under the 70 fps par out of most elite primaries but for a sidearm that's actually pretty good so solid thumbs up one complaint i have is these are these little grooves in the um the grip and that kind of makes the grip kind of uncomfortable because it's they're kind of sharp and my thing my middle finger like top part kept running into the top of this so that's one complaint I have about the jolt but other than that it's really good next up we have the nerf elite 2.0 ace sd1 you can find an elite 2.0 at target right now for about five bucks the same price as the jolt this is basically a jolt reskin well 
everything's a jolt reskin but it's i do like the color of this i do like turquoise one of my favorite colors you got on the top we have this little o-ring whatever i don't that, an o-ring that's not real definition it's a dart storage i thought it was a scope so you can line up a sick trick shot with a pistol but yeah you can shove a dart into the top so that's a plus for it and down here we have the barrel you just stick the dart in there we got the trigger the trigger um you can click it without priming it so yeah down to the grip i don't like this grip at all it is super chunky so if you have bigger hands you might like it but it the grip is also super short especially compared to the jolt the jolt fix, fits my hand perfectly but this my finger hangs off the edge which i do not like at all yeah down here we have the priming handle same thing prime weights this about the same you just and after that you just fire chronograph readings for the ace although these aren't mine so i'll take what coop says with a grain of salt but they're exactly the same as the jolt with a chronograph reading of about 60 fps so that's pretty good for a sidearm that's really good now I'll show both of these blasters firing. Starting out with the jolt, shooting Nerf Elite darts. Oh, the dart fell on the floor. Yeah, that's it. And now, the ace. Now, in my opinion, which one I pick, the Jolt or the Ace? In my opinion, the Nerf Jolt. Now, this all comes down to preference and grip. Yeah, the um, the Jolt grip, I, in my opinion, is much better than the Ace. It does have the grooves, the aforementioned grooves that kind of make it uncomfortable for me but I have tiny baby hands like welcome so yeah go buy this yeah now if this video does pretty good like let's say a hundred views in like the next month I'd probably turn this into a, like a regular thing like maybe once a month like Thursday verses or something so yeah See you next time. Bye.